They have burned over 800 bodies here in the last three weeks in what used to be a car park. This in Delhi, a city of 20 million people, where the official death toll is one dead from COVID every four minutes. The Holy Family Hospital is among the best equipped, yet it has run out of ventilators with every space taken by those struggling to breathe. The patients are younger than last year's first wave, overwhelmed by new strains of the virus, and their families have been campaigning for days to have their relatives admitted. It cannot be left to the citizens to run around to find a bed. They are dying on the way to the hospital because they are going from hospital to hospital trying to find a bed. That's no way to treat our citizens. Amit Goel is 39 and battling to avoid becoming another statistic. His wife Manika is at his bedside, frantically ringing around in search of a ventilator. Her mother died without one this morning and now the doctors say her husband has just two days left. I'm hearing news that even hospitals do not have oxygen. Yeah. I mean, the, you know, basically, I don't know even, you know, this oxygen can be switched off at any time if it yeah. is not available. Then what, what will I do? I will just see him dying in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's bad. I, I saw one message that it is not COVID which is killing people. It is the unavailability of the treatment yeah. which, which is killing people. Yeah. <laughs> This is known as the Oxygen Express, carrying the gas in a 750-mile lifeline to India's capital. The country produces some 7,000 tonnes of oxygen a day, but its distribution has come calamitously late. The black market for refills is extortionate. Those relatives who can afford it are paying out hundreds of dollars for a single tank, nothing less than the price of a loved one's life. Untold numbers of Indians are dying at home when their personal supply runs out. In Agra, south of Delhi, a man was seen begging for an oxygen cylinder he said was meant for his mother. Two hours after it was taken from him, she reportedly died. By contrast, there's outrage that a five-star hotel in the capital has been set aside to keep High Court judges and their families safe. That is what the Delhi High Court judges are getting, but what is the common man getting? There is just one ICU bed with a ventilator, one ICU bed with a ventilator in the national capital of India for the common man. In Mumbai, the largest field hospital has 2,300 new beds and they are all full, though far fewer than half of them have breathing equipment. Yesterday, this vaccination centre in the city ran out of vaccine. 800 million Indians over the age of 18 are supposedly eligible for the jab from Saturday, though not surprisingly, the website to register has frequently crashed. And this catastrophe is too far gone for vaccines or lockdowns to stop it. Medical experts say the official death toll of over 200,000 could be closer to a million, with infections set to continue rising for the next few weeks.